there, standing completely still, was Dry Bones. He didn't look the same, though. He had red eyes instead of the usual yellow. His gloves and boots looked the same, though, albeit a little darker. You, Dry Bones said as the tet spot showed up. Dry Bones was really angry. He was clenching his hands tightly. First, Bowser burns me alive because I failed his task, and then you come along and break me to pieces? You wanted to do that because you needed to rescue the princess, and I was in the way. As a result, I became overwhelmed with a rage that I soon became comfortable with. Bowser was no match against me ever since I gained this power. You should have never come here. It is a mistake that you shall pay the price for. You dare to come into my den, and you shall feel eternal pain as your punishment. After Drybone said this, a boss battle ensued. I had to run from Dry Bones through a set of tunnels. Every corridor I ran by, Dry Bones would become faster than before. Eventually, after running around for a long time, I noticed a glowing white light in the distance. And that's it, I thought. I immediately moved the joystick in a heartbeat, causing Mario to run to the light. Maybe if I just get there, I can escape Dry Bones and this weird stuff can be over with. My hopes were soon lowered when the light disappeared. I had just ran into a dead end, and Dry Bones reached Mario moments later. The screen cut to black, and another test box popped up. Resistance is a futile decision, fallen hero. You thought that bright light was your only way out, your gateway to salvation. It was nothing but a trap that tricked you greatly. You were more foolish than I thought you were. Let this be a lesson to you. A lesson taught to you that you should never disturb me, as I, was distur as I would disturb you back. Your consequence begins soon, Travis. No, it won't, I shout at the top of my lungs. I pressed the eject button, and the disc popped out. The last thing I saw on the television was the face of a demonic Dry Bones, glaring at me with an ominous stare. Dry Bones then vanished as the blue no signal screen showed up. It's been about two weeks since the incident, and I did have a nightmare about it once. In the dream, I was chained to a wall. I noticed several bones on the ground, as well as the remains of Mario. Suddenly, I could hear the grinding of bone, and I saw sparks coming from the darkness in front of me. Glowing red eyes pierced through the black and stared at me. I noticed a faint outline of something approaching. Once the figure came into view, it was the dry ball. You thought that just by turning off your device, you could escape your demise? What a fool you quite are, Travis. I am always stalking you. Yes, I follow you wherever you go. There is no true way you can escape this. Just give in and accept your inevitable fate, Travis, he said in a firm tone. He raised one of his hands, which had no glove and was a long claw. He brought the claw down onto my chest, causing me to scream in agony, but only brought pleasure to him. As he lunged at me, I woke up from fear and sweat. After all this, my life was back to normal. I had no, no, more, I had no more nightmares of that game. Neither did I experience anything paranormal again. But there is one question that still lingers in my mind to this day, and it still bothers me. Why did Bowser burn Dry Bones alive? Was he a Koopa to begin with?